Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The 31 MQ-9 drones to be acquired by Indian Armed Forces are to be jointly operated by Tri Services that is it will include officers and men from all the three services. As per the ANI report the requirement of 31 MQ-9 drones were finalized based on the analysis done under the CDS and his integrated defense staff team for land and aerial surveillance 16 mq9 sky guardians will be procured indian navy will get 15 mq9 sea guardian specialized in maritime surveillance the acquisition worth over 3 billion dollars through us foreign military sales or the government to government route which will get a green light during pm narendra modi's visit to us this week It has also been reported that all future requirement of armed forces of drones helicopters and air defense system would be done in similar manner which is a welcome step towards joint operation and bringing all the military assets under one umbrella for optimal operation the mission specific roles will be defined by the three operational centers under the guidance of future theater commanders and the permanent chairman of the chief of staff committee The first batch of 10 drones will be delivered without weapons. The weapons and missiles will follow at later stage. However, all the drones will have hard points and capability to carry missiles and laser guided bombs. The focus will be on creation of three tri services ISR command center, one in the south and two in the north with a specific focus on India's northern boundaries, especially the one with China. India will not only buy all drones and weapons off the shelf but the deal will also include the element of localization in the package this will enable india to integrate the weapons indigenously developed india is also looking for local manufacturing and mro of these uavs involving multiple indian companies like bharat forge and hal the indian navy chief has told that at least 60% of the quantity of aircraft proposed for procurement in india will be manufactured in india in january 2023 bharat forge and general atomics aeronautical systems has signed a partnership to manufacture parts of mq9 b drones the partnership included manufacturing main landing gear components sub assemblies and assemblies of the drone additionally hl has signed a deal with ga asi to establish a maintenance repair and overhaul mro facility on the sidelines of aero india 2023 HL will also manufacture and provide MRO support for TPE 3315 engines. The TPE 3315 engines power the MQ-9 RPS as well as made in India STT-40 trainer aircrafts. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.